3.5 number 53, we are going to differentiate square root of 1 minus x squared times r cosine x. Well, notice r cosine x and cosine, and you have a negative 1 right here, x, they both means the inverse cosine function. And the derivative of the inverse cosine is negative 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared. And now let's come back to the original equation. This is the product of two functions, so we have to use the product rule. So product rule in action. We take the first function, which is square root of 1 minus x squared, times the derivative of the second. And the derivative of r cosine x is just that. Negative 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared. Especially when the inside is just x, this is it. And you should always check what exactly is the inside. The inner function is 1. You always use the chain rule. But if you multiply by the derivative x, it's the same as multiply by 1. So in this case, it doesn't matter. All right, we add the second function, which is our cosine x, and I will multiply by the derivative of the first function. Derivative of square root of something, it's going to be 1 over 2 square root of something. The inside stays the same, which is 1 minus x squared. And now, look at what's inside. Inside here is 1 minus x squared, which is more complicated, you multiply by the derivative of the inside. Derivative 1 is 0. Derivative of negative x squared, it's going to be, let me multiply, derivative of negative x squared, which is negative 2x, like that. And now, in this expression, there are a lot of things that can be cancelled. The major part is the square root of 1 minus x squared here, and this part as well um, can be cancelled. And the 2 and little 2 right here can be cancelled. And now we just have to proceed to put things together. The first part is negative 1. The second part, I have x and r cosine x, they are on the numerator. I will add, whoop, I will subtract, sorry, I will subtract because this is a minus. I will subtract x, r cosine x on the top over the denominator, which is square root of 1 minus x squared. And this will do it.